Well, it is a new parent's worst nightmare. There are about 4,000 sleep-related infant deaths each year in the U.S., according to the American SIDS Institute. And KSNT News morning anchor Brittany Moore has the story of one Kansas mom who lost her baby boy to SIDS and what she's doing today to help save other babies. In 2010, Gail Barrett from Emporia lost her baby boy to SIDS. She received a phone call from their daycare provider hearing any new parent's worst nightmare. We got a phone call from the emergency room saying that he had been taken to uh, the hospital and he wasn't breathing. Wade died of SIDS. Sudden infant death syndrome. Um, this is where a baby has been put to, down to rest, whether it's a nap or a bedtime, and the parent goes in to check on them and they are just not breathing. It's sudden, unexpected, um, for no reason. They just have found the baby and it hasn't, isn't breathing and usually doesn't make it if it's found um, too late. There were things, there were um, a few of the risk factors that were involved while he was at daycare when it happened. Um, but you know, we, we had been mildly educated. We knew he was supposed to be on his back, but we didn't know there should be a fan. We didn't know pacifiers were good. We didn't know that too hot was bad. There was just things that weren't ever explained to us. Health experts say it's important to know your ABCs. To keep your baby safe while they're sleeping, make sure they're alone, on their backs, in a clutter free crib. Today, Gail is using her tragedy to make changes for others. She started and contributes to a number of organizations and events in Emporia to help new parents. The hospitals really embraced all of this idea with open arms. They were quick to change their policies. They were quick to let me in and help. Um, and it's huge. It's huge for the community. We had word last year that the SIDS death had actually decreased here in Lyon County, which is one of the biggest things that I could have ever hoped for. Her message to parents today. It can happen to you. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of parent you are, what kind of house you live in, who's watching your kid, it can happen. And that's why she shares her story, to highlight the risks and guidelines you should know about that could save your child's life. Brittany Moore, KSNT News. An incredibly important story there. Now you can find more information on Newman Regional Health's upcoming community baby shower and becoming a mom class. Just visit KSNT.com and click on the health check section. Now don't forget this year's community baby shower in Emporia is tomorrow. New and expecting parents can learn about safe sleep, car seat safety, and community resources to help them get adjusted. Lactation consultants will also be attending. The event starts at 9 tomorrow at the Lyon County Fairgrounds.